Good morning. Uh, sorry I'm in the shade, but the sun is totally at my back and it's going to be at my back for a while. Today is day 12 for hiking home for shelter on the Pacific Crest Trail. What happened to day 11, you ask? No, you didn't miss a video. I had what's known as a zero day. There are zeros and there are Nero's. Nero is what we did in Julian. We hiked a full day or almost a full day and uh, went into town, got the lodge room, showered, resupplied, had a little bit of a supper out, the free pie at the Julian Bakery. And then after breakfast the next morning, got back on the trail. So two hiking days just with a civilized sleepover rather than camping. A zero is when you go to a spot. You can even zero at a campsite, but you hike the day, you stop for the night, then you stay all day and the next night at that spot. So that's what we did. That's what a lot of people did. And people do constantly all hiking season on the PCT at Warner Springs. In this little, like, middle of nowhere, <laughs> in this actually this beautiful pastoral setting surrounded by mountains um, is a little place called Warner Springs and uh, one of the volunteers there was telling me that it's a very economically depressed area and that they rely on the bit of income that they get in donations they don't even ask for a specific amount from hikers to uh, stay uh, we can camp on the grounds of their community center. And in return, they provide washrooms with flush toilets and running water, potable water so we don't have to boil it or filter it, um, bucket showers, see my photos for, oh, well, no, not photos of me in the bucket shower, and bucket laundry. I do have some photos of me doing bucket laundry. And uh, again, diddly putzer. I did lead my way through the laundry yesterday and I swear four or five people came and went and did their laundry in the time that I did mine. But I saw their stuff on the line and on the fence and their socks weren't nearly as clean as mine because I refused to leave until the water ran clear. So it took me almost two hours to wash everything by hand. So Warner Springs Community Center is this absolutely magical place. Like here I am hiking to fundraise, you know, kind of a volunteer of sorts. And I don't know, it's just very weird to arrive somewhere. I'm not sick, I'm not injured, I'm not destitute, but there are volunteers. They have a schedule and everything who show up and open the center at 8 a.m. And one of the people runs the little resupply store. Yeah, they charge more than the average store, but well, they're out in the middle of nowhere and they're trying to fundraise, so that makes sense. And one person occupies the welcome desk and you get the whole spiel when you get there about the bucket showers and the flush toilets and the hours of operation and, and so on. And usually there are about 20 tents a night. Well, there were the last two nights. I think at the height of hiker season, they'll probably have more. But I just wanted to say a great shout out. Um, I know the locals probably aren't watching this, but PCT hikers who are, please, please, please thank those volunteers. And if you can afford it, I know there are some hikers out here on a really tight budget, but those of us of a more <clears throat> mature age <laughs> and advanced, huh, advanced position in our professional or financial lives, throw a little more in the jar there because uh, this community needs it. I saw the kids from the school across the road come over and play baseball on the community center grounds as I guess as part of phys ed class yesterday and they're all native kids and uh, they come from the reserves and across Canada we know how bloody for terrific our reserve lands are and uh, it's no different here a lot of the families struggle with alcoholism drug addiction poverty uh, persecution racism etc and these are the people that the funds raised via the hikers go to. They host suppers in uh, the off season in that very community center for these people who can't afford 
suppers for themselves and they donate funds for clothing and other needs that the community may have. So Warner Springs, my people, Warner Springs, make sure you donate, make sure you thank the volunteers. They're lovely, they're passionate, and they're so happy uh, to support we hikers, which blows my mind. So day 12 on the trail, leaving Warner Springs, a mile 109. I have uh, an arrangement to re meet uh, my hiking buddy who we seem to have teamed up, named Renee, slash trail name Honey Bun, because she likes honey buns a lot. And so we're going to meet at a site at 119, and uh, I'll check in with you later. I'm really struggling today, day 12. Oh, switchbacks, switchbacks, switchbacks. The bane of my existence. I just came up there, and now I have to go up there. And I've done that about, I don't know, 50 times already. And it's really hot. A lot of people have passed me. I took a long break at the last stream and, and yeah, I diddly putzed, that's for sure. Put my feet in the stream. I think after a zero day, it's harder to get back on the trail and, and the elevation's getting to me again. I, I just feel like I can't catch my breath. Anyway, about three more miles to where I'm shooting the camp tonight and it'll all be over for today. <laughs>